Hey, um, so I just got home from training, and uh, it was a really hard day <laughs> at both gyms. Um, my my like nasal sinus cold has moved into my chest, and I'm having a really hard time breathing. Um, <clears throat> when I got to Omi Kun Gym, my face was so red from my training at Petro Rome Gym that Song Weon was freaking out, and I think that's just that um, being a Thai, he's not as accustomed to the like flush of um, you know whitey face <laughs> or whatever. Uh, I get very, very flushed sometimes. Um, it used to happen a lot when I played soccer as a kid. I'd get very, very red, um, and it stays that way for quite a while. Um, but at training at Petrung Rung, um, yesterday I had sparred with Tong, who's amazing. Um, and it was really hard, but I tired him down and was able to kind of like start messing with him. And um, it was a really good experience, even though it was kind of uh, challenging and difficult. Um, and today, I told he knew about it today, he actually didn't see it, and I told him how much fun it was, and so today um, he picked up on it and he told me to go um, spar with D. Um, D is like 16 years old, maybe, maybe 15, um, but he's smaller than me, he's maybe like 45, 46 kilos, so he's, he's what I would cut down to. Um, but he's really strong and he's actually really mean, like, he, uh, he definitely goes for the kill in sparring situations, um, not in a like jerky I need to win way, but definitely in a like maintaining the um, kind of upper hand as a man kind of thing, um, which is not bad necessarily, um, but it's not fun. <laughs> um, but so uh, I went into it and um, I sparred with him for probably like 25 minutes and it was kind of the same as with Tong where I was able to wear him down um, over that period of time, and I started getting more and more things in, um, and I was able to kind of, you know, continue working on the things that I wanted to do. Uh, but like emotionally, it was a very difficult experience, um, and I was so kind of drained from that when I was leaving Petrung Rung that I didn't want to go to Omi Kun. Like the thought of even doing pad work and clinching um, was really bumming me out, but I was like, I gotta go anyway, like, even if I start and I'm not able to continue, I can just take it way down or whatever. So, um, I went to Omi Kun and, uh, I ended up doing what Song Weon likes to do, it's just like a power thing, like, if, if you don't have any energy, he makes you just kick a gazillion times and do push-ups in between, so I did that, and then I started, um, clinching, and uh, there are these two new boys there who I'm clinching with. One is legit my size, but is much stronger. Um, and then one of them is a little bit smaller, much less strong. He's very floppy when you first start clinching with him, but he's got really good tricks. Um, and then Pechi Jaw's been just nailing me lately. Um, so I had a really shitty mood like when it was time to do clinching, and I could feel it um, that I was just in such a nasty mood. Uh, I got real mad like when when uh, these people were getting things in on me and I'd like jump up and get back. This kid kept grabbing my leg and like dropping me on the ground and it, it should be funny, but it wasn't. And um, I definitely recognized that it was my attitude, um, but I was having a really hard time changing that. So unfortunately, instead of going into it and understanding that like what I need to work on is my attitude, regardless of whether or not physically I'm able to uh, do the things that I need to do, um, my attitude stayed shit, and I basically just, um, like, physically pushed myself through, which is the opposite of what I should have done. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing, because I know what I should have done, but at least being aware of that means that I can correct it for next time. Um, but I guess the takeaway message, what I was thinking about when I was driving home, was that if I had not gone to the Omi Kun session, um, if I'd not done the second session, I wouldn't have been able to reflect on the first one um, fully. Which is that when I was going into sparring with Dee, um, I kind of was feeling like I did so good yesterday, I'm going to be doing really good today. And so I kind of just expected to do well. And then when it was really hard, um, it, it was more difficult for me psychologically than I think it should have been. Um, and uh, I've said many times before, one of my favorite quotes is that uh, motivation is 80% expectation. And so I think that because I was expecting to do well easily, um, the fact that I had to work kind of is what threw me off. Whereas when I went to Omi Kun, because I had just had that experience, I expected it to be really hard. 
and it was but so then I wasn't like why isn't this easy I was like of course this is really hard and my attitude stayed shit um, but I knew it was going to be hard and so I was able to kind of handle the fact that it was um, so I think uh, my expectations of, of this is going to be easy and I'm going to be doing the things I want to do in sparring beforehand really made it difficult for me to process that it, that it wasn't that way. Um, instead of just like going easier, I tried to go harder, um, which was not the right solution to that. Um, so that's my lesson for today. And tomorrow's my last day of training before my fights, so um, we'll head up to Chiang Mai on Thursday. And uh, lots to work on, um, but in an easy way, not in a really hard way. So uh, just bring the fight energy tomorrow is really all I have to do. And um, I'm taking some herbal supplements for my uh, chest cold because uh, I'm still taking my antifungal, so I can't take any real medicine um, due to interactions and stuff like that. But I'm going to do a sauna and stuff. I think I'll feel great by Friday.